YouTube. This is Team Doughboys 12 coming at you once again. I mean, oh, this is just a Yu-Gi-Oh! Pop figure, but of Yami, but yeah. Whatever, right? So let's get to what I want to say. Man. Still gonna upload, as you can see, my binders up there. I got some boxes. Still gonna go through all that stuff, as you can see up there. But that's not what we're looking for today. What we're looking at today is another deck profile. You see this deck right here? We're gonna be deck profiling this deck. So furthermore, let's 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 give it a kiss and let's do this shit. So I'll set you right over there. Okay, so first thing is first. This is um, my take on Grand Maju Daiza. Um, I know that it got a top recently um, at one of the, I think it was Orno or, or whatever. But um, we don't need all that fancy shit. Um... We got, we do it, a, we're just going to do it up old school, or this version, I like this version. Um, of course, we got, you know, three Swift Scarecrow, staple card, you know, it has zero attack, zero defense, but you can pitch it to the graveyard, you know, stop your opponent's attacks. Um, three Battle Fader, again... You know, combat trick, it just stops your opponent's battle phase. You get a monster during your turn in defense mode. It's You'll understand why these zero attackers are in here, not just for stopping my opponent. Um, the cover card, of course, being three Maju de Iza, great Maju de Iza. A lot of decks run two. I like running three. I, it's just, I just like that. Ratio pretty much can end the duel just by itself. Um, it gains attack equal to the number of cards that are removed from play times 400. It's a three star. It can get over stupid shit like level limit, limit, level limit area B and all that other garbage. And it can pretty much end the duel. You can make this guy like a 14,000 attack and defender and put him in defense mode. Your opponent runs into him and it's game over. Another card in the deck, um, Eater of Millions. We run three. Normally people run two. But you can banish uh, your extra deck, which I haven't put the extra deck together. But you can pretty much use whatever you want because you're just going to banish it anyway. So you can run a bunch of fusions, for example, and there you go. But it, you can banish your extra deck to get more banished cards for Deiza. Plus, this guy can be pretty decently big. Uh, for other monsters, we got the one effect Veiler. Again, it's a zero zero. Um, it's just really, really good. And as I, as you, as I can tell you later, is we'll you will know the reason why we run the zero zero. But we also got two. Um, what is this dude's name again? Jizuruku, the Star Destroying Kaiju. Um, it's a three th over thirty three thousand attack kaiju. You know this is to get rid of your opponent's stupid shit, especially if they're playing guard dragons. That's why we also run the one copy of the Thunder. What is this guy? The Thunder King. Thunder King, the Lightning Strike. Also three thousand. Um, the deck is missing four cards. Um, the deck is missing four cards, sorry if I'm stuttering, four cards, because I seem not to have, I don't have two Necroface and two Lava Golem, because those were supposed to be in the deck as well, but our spell lineup is Gold Sark, of course, One Day of Peace for Stall, Upstart Goblin, you know, more draw power, you want to get into those combo pieces, Double Allure, because where we do have some darks. Um, best card ever made for the deck. Triple Pot of Desires. You know, you banish ten, car ten cards and then you draw two. 
the but the MVP of the deck. Um, if I can get it straight, triple soul absorption. I love this card. Ever since I saw this card in banish banishing mechanics, this card is just stupid. Um, whenever a card's banished, you gain 500 life points. There are times where I have used the next card that I'm going to show, and I've gained, like, 300,000 life points, and they can't do anything about it, and it's, it's, most people just give up because it's like, holy crap, I can never kill you, pretty much. But the next card, which makes this card just so friggin' stupid is Triple Inferno Tempest. It is a quick play spell card that when you take 3,000 attack, when you take 3,000 damage from one attack, you can activate this card from your field, where it's a quick play, and it banishes all monsters from both players' decks. So you're pretty much banishing all of your opponent's monsters, you're banishing your monsters as well, but what makes this card, what makes it so dumb is you have soul absorption, so say I banish, say, 10 monsters, and my opponent banishes, like, 20, you're gaining over 100,000 life points just from this one friggin' card. And also, like, Pot of Desire, playing, playing this and then Pot of Desires... That's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. That's 4,500 life points that you're gonna get, that you gained from this one pot of desires. It's just stupid. It's just, just, it's just dumb. I played this deck a bunch of times against my friends and online, and I've actually played it on locals, and people just can't deal with it. It's just, Really stupid. Um, one of the other win strategies, if you can't win with Daiza, triple DD Dynamite. Um, it deals, what was it again? It deals 300 damage to your opponent for each of their removed from play cards. So I've actually had duels where I pretty much use, like, I, like, I gain a million life. But I have no cards in my hand, and I need to draw this card, and I end up top decking this card and deal like 7,200 points of damage to him. I've actually played two of these, and I've dealt like 14,000 damage to my opponent, and there's nothing he could do. Um, but that's your second win strategy besides Daiza. The remaining traps are one threatening roar, um, one macro cosmos, if I can get it. Um, that uh, helps with um, your banishing strategy. You know, you can banish important cards early against your opponent. And then the final trap card is Bottomless Trap Hole for if your opponent goes into a bunch of, like, stupid summonings, you can just banish your opponent's crap. And like I said, right now the deck is 36 cards. Um, for all the cards that I have here, and I have a bunch of boxes down this way, I have no Necrofaces or no Lava Golems, so I've actually had to borrow those cards when I've played, but apparently I've never actually traded for them. But if you want to play this deck, you'd have to put in, uh, you know, double Necroface, double Lava Golem, unless you wanted to add your own tech cards. Um, I'm probably going to add my own tech cards eventually down the road um replacing those four because i really like the new um primor primal being or primordial being from the megatons i think it's one of the greatest cards ever i haven't got any megatons yet but i really am like it's like the number one card i want to run in this deck is the primal being because he's just so stupid broken. I'm going to have a video about him also down the road down, within the week or so. But I also want to thank everybody for the views on the last video I did. Where I just came back into doing this. Thanks for the views. Thanks for the likes. 
that people that liked the video. And, uh, other than that, um, that's pretty much all I have to say is, like, for, uh,